What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Day of Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is SmackDown on Fox Edition. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure set up for you guys. We have got the backstage set up right here. And do not worry, this is not all of the setup. You guys see this small little setup here. We're actually going to, we're going to get through this setup and then we're going to remove this wall and this wall and we're going to cover the rest of the setup. And that way we have two setups in one for you guys. And this time it is SmackDown Live on Fox Edition. You know, I don't think it's called SmackDown Live anymore, but it is going to be live on Friday nights coming to Fox starting off tonight. Guys, I'm very excited for it. We got a stacked little card. Got tons of talent going to be in the building for tonight. I got some predictions for you guys, as well as some other things taking place in the setup video. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see what's going down. You know, I would do a Hell in a Cell predictions or Hell in a Cell setup for you guys, but we can't do that yet because there's not a lot of matches announced for that show. There's literally only three matches announced for Hell in a Cell thus far. And I think tonight on SmackDown, they're going to add some more matches and we're going to get some more things set up for that show. That way we can do our predictions and our setups for that later on, maybe tomorrow and then into Sunday on the morning of Hell in a Cell. So with that being said guys, let's go ahead and dive into the setup and then we'll get into the rest of the setup which is set up behind this wall and we will get into the rest of it after we finish this portion. So starting off in the corner guys, you will see Daniel Bryan and it's already being advertised that him and Roman Reigns will take on Eric Rowan and Luke Harper at Hell in a Cell. I apologize for the poll right here but it's a little lamp so I'll move that out of the way. But Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns are taking on Eric Rowan and Luke Harper at Hell in a Cell. And if we come over here, you will see Eric Rowan and Luke Harper laid to waste. And this is what I think is going to happen on SmackDown tonight. I think that Roman Reigns and The Rock will lay out Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. Maybe Daniel Bryan gets involved in that. I'm not sure. But I definitely think that The Rock and Roman Reigns will have some sort of interaction. And I think that it's either going to plant seeds or it will set the tone for them to wrestle at WrestleMania 36. I don't know why. That's what I'm thinking. I feel that that's the match they're going for for the main event. Event. That's just what I'm thinking. However, uh, you know, I think that The Rock said that he silently retired from WWE or wrestling, and that could be a thing too, but I'm just kind of giving you my bold prediction here. This is just sort of me thinking it through, talking it over with myself and my skull, and I was like, you know what? I think this is going to happen. You know, The Rock always takes out some talent and lays out some talent, so if it's not Sami Zayn or Elias or something like that, I think it will be Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, and you bring in Roman Reigns to do that with The Rock, and you can add in Daniel Bryan over here. So basically what we got is Roman Reigns and The Rock facing off. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan are laid out and then Daniel Bryan's over here laughing his butt off at him and pointing at him because they got laid out. So that's what I'm thinking here is uh, Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, and The Rock will have this segment. They'll they'll take out Rowan and Harper and we will have this match sort of the plant. We will have the seeds planted for Roman Reigns versus The Rock. So that's, that's what I'm going with here. Now we go back just to here guys. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You have Brock Lesnar giving an F5 to Kofi Kingston and you guys know they're going one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship. I think we could see some interference from Rey Mysterio. I didn't add it to the setup here. You know, we don't have a Dominic figure or anything like that. Maybe Dominic gets involved. I'm not sure. I think there's going to be two ways of this going about. It's either going to be Rey Mysterio costing Brock Lesnar and Kofi Kingston retaining the WWE Championship and Brock Lesnar sort of going away for a while. Or we will have Brock Lesnar defeat Kofi for the WWE Championship returning to Fox. You know, that's what they want. They want the big name Brock Lesnar headlining their brand of WWE on SmackDown Live. We have the Draft coming up next week. Very excited for that. We're going to have some videos talking about that coming up soon. Just tons and tons of content that we're not getting to because there's just so much going on. But we will get into the draft and we will talk about that. What our predict <clears throat> almost vomited. We are going to get into the draft and talk about exactly what I think is going to take place. But basically, Brock Lesnar giving an F5 to Kofi Kingston here. WWE Championship laying on the ground. And I think I really think Brock Lesnar is going to win. I'm going with Brock Lesnar to win here. Yeah, even though, you know, it's not my number one choice. I think Kofi should get the big win over Brock. I think they're going to go Brock Lesnar over Kofi and he's going to win the WWE Championship. So that is it for that portion of the setup guys. Going over to this side I know that Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to be there and so I had to have him in my setup here and all I could think of is what 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 would Stone Cold Steve Austin do and I just have him giving a Stone Cold Stunner to Vince McMahon. I don't think Vince McMahon is going to eat a stunner and I don't think that he'll even be live on Fox. He could be live on Fox. You know he may come out to the crowd but in a two hour show with all these star pack names and th things 
things along with the matches. I don't think we're going to see Vince McMahon, but if we do, and if we could book it my way, I would have Stone Cold Steve Austin hitting the stunner onto Vince, so that's what I had my setup right here. Figured that's the only way I could get Stone Cold in here. If we look up just in the corner, guys, you will see Randall Keith Orton right here, and Randy Orton is eyeing The Rock, and if you guys didn't see this on Twitter, maybe you saw it on Twitter, he called out The Rock, basically, because he knew he'd be at SmackDown on Fox tonight, and I know that he called him out and said, you know, what about a match for WrestleMania 36? So maybe they're planning seats for that. Maybe Roman Reigns won't be involved with The Rock. Maybe we get a Randy Orton engagement with The Rock, and we get to see Randy Orton and The Rock go one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania 36. So I wanted to add that to my setup, and you know, I had to add Randy Orton to the setup. So I have him eyeing The Rock here, and uh, that, that's something that could possibly take place. So definitely look out for that tonight on Fox if we see Randy Orton and The Rock sort of tying it up. And to finish out this little segment of our, of our video, guys, in this little portion of the setup before we get into the next part, we have Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy hugging it out right here. And the reason I have this is I think tonight on Fox, on SmackDown Live, I keep calling it SmackDown Live, I think it's going to be Jeff Hardy returning. I think Jeff Hardy's going to return tonight. And if it's not Jeff Hardy, maybe we'll see John Morrison. Maybe we'll see something like that. I don't know if John Morrison is going to NXT or if he's going to be going to the main roster, but maybe we'll he'll surprise everyone on Fox and return on SmackDown for Fox, or it will be Jeff Hardy. I think Jeff Hardy could easily return, and him and Matt going to return here. You know, I don't think the Revival have a title defense set for Hell in a Cell just yet, if they're even going to be on that card, but I have Jeff Hardy returning, and maybe him and Matt Hardy re reunite on Fox. You know, there's going to be a lot of eyes on Fox for SmackDown, and I think that, you know, everybody knows who the Hardy Boys are, so why not return Jeff Hardy, return Matt Hardy with him, and have them as a tag team set forth on Fox, take them in the draft, and we, you know, get that nostalgia boosted for the people tuning into Fox for SmackDown, and there you have your return right there. So, Jeff Hardy returns to injury, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy embracing, and they go after the SmackDown Live tag titles like they did before they had to surrender them when Jeff got injured. So, I think I think that's what happened, right? Didn't Jeff and Matt have to surrender the tag titles after they just won them? I believe that's what happened. I'm not sure. But anyways, this is this portion of the setup, guys. Now we're going to move on to the back portion of the setup where I have some more superstar set up for you guys. And moving on with our setup, ladies and gentlemen, not nothing too immaculate, but I did want to get it in right here. So right here in the corner, we have Sami Zayn getting low blowed by Shinsuke Nakamura. Now this is me fantasy booking right here, guys, because you guys know that Shinsuke Nakamura with the Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn's running around as his manager or protege or whatever the hell you want to call him. I think that they need to have Sami Zayn as a babyface. As wonderful as he is as a heel, guys, we need a babyface Samuel Zayn. And what a better way than for Shinsuke Nakamura to turn on him, hit him in the nads, turn on him, have him be a babyface, and let's get Sami Zayn a Intercontinental Championship run as a babyface. If you go back and watch his 2016 stuff and his NXT stuff as a babyface, he was fan-freaking-tastic. Such an underdog. The underdog gimmick for him works so well. He still has yet to win a singles championship, and I think this is the best way to do it, man. Get him that Intercontinental Championship, have him be a babyface, have him run around the arena dropping freaking classics. You guys know about Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn's classic match. If you've never seen their NXT match, go watch it right now. You will thank me later. One of the best matches of all time that I've ever seen. One of the Definitely one of the best NXT matches of all time. You definitely need to go plug it. This is what we need. Rehash this feud and run it on the main roster and give us some good wrestling with Sami Zayn as a babyface again. And he should win the Intercontinental Championship, damn it. And we come over here, guys. We have the four horsewomen. You guys know that on SmackDown, they will be going head-to-head. -head. It's a tag team match. Charlotte and Becky take on Sasha and Bailey, and so I have them just confronting each other right here. I was going to have them fighting, but I had them all fighting last time in the setup. Literally, I had the exact same thing, but they were all continuing to feud, and I think this is pretty much going to set up our Fatal 4-Way at WrestleMania. I think at WrestleMania 36, we're going to have a four horsewomen Fatal 4-Way between all four women, and this is what I'm going with here. We may see a return of Ronda Rousey at SmackDown 2. I don't know. That's just on the rumor mill. I could see it happening. Ronda Rousey either getting drafted or showing up, beating the hell out of somebody, her surprising everybody, getting picked in the draft, going over to SmackDown, and then you continue to build to WrestleMania 36, where her and Becky get a rematch. I don't know, but I, I think that we get something of that nature. 
nature. And so I have them four horsewomen facing off here. If we come over here, guys, we have the club, and it's just AJ Styles in the club basically talking it over. Uh, for some reason, I can't think of a number one contender for the U.S. title. If there's a number one contender for the U.S. championship, please let me know because I, I can't remember it and I don't recall it. So we definitely need a good number one contender for AJ. I know he's been feuding with my boy Cedric Alexander, but he's getting a boot. Apparently, he's getting buried. Makes me freaking sick to my stomach, man. But we do need a number one contender for AJ Styles, so I just have the club chilling. I think they will be present at SmackDown Live. I can definitely see it with the wildcard rule about to end. I think AJ Styles needs to be uh, a big focus on your, your Fox show, your first Fox show. Over here, guys, we have Aleister Black, and I know he's not doing anything. He's just kind of chilling here, and I think that's what he's going to do. I think we get a promo or something. We need Aleister Black on our television, so I think he makes an appearance, whether it be a promo or backstage or standing around, whatever. We need an Aleister Black appearance, so I wanted to include him in the setup here. He's just chilling, being his own weird self. And finally, guys, we're going to end it off with the match I'm very much looking forward to. We have Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon at the top of the ladder battling it out. You guys know that they're doing a contract ladder match on SmackDown, and I think it's going to be epic. I cannot wait for this. My boy Kevin Owens is going to be destroying it. And I pitched an idea where Shane McMahon wins this thing, and then we have Kevin Owens go down to NXT and join Finn Balor, Adam Cole, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, and you get some freaking once-in-a-lifetime matchups with Kevin Owens. You want to beat AEW in the ratings, you put Kevin Owens on your freaking show on NXT, and then you run with it. I think that would be beautiful. I think that's where they should go with this, and I think that's what they're going to do. So I'm going Kevin Owens losing to Shane McMahon, or he could win it. I would love to see him win, but this is just an idea I pitched, and why not go with it? But Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon battling at the top of the ladder there will be beautiful. I cannot wait for that matchup, but I think that is going to do it for our setup here today, guys. Nothing too crazy in this setup. You know, I think the first portion was better, but I do like them at the top of the ladder there, and I do like the Shinsuke low blow to Sami Zayn, but that is going to do it for our SmackDown Fox setup, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Stay Stay tuned for Fox on Smack or SmackDown on Fox tonight, guys. It's going to be a really lit show. Really looking forward to it. Can't wait to see the reactions and everything that happens at the show. Hopefully, we get some good wrestling, some good segments, and everything. I will be live tweeting the show. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter at my damn toys, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.